this is uh, October 7th, the opening day of pronghorn season in Colorado. So there's some hunters right there on the side of the highway. And uh, my dad, a friend of mine, and myself are heading out to an outdoor buddy's hunt. Um, and we're going to take some hunters out and skin some antelope. Uh, we uh, sighted in a 270 this morning for a young guy that I believe he's paralyzed from the waist down and has never gone hunting before and uh, they don't even own a gun. So I'll uh, record um, if it's appropriate uh, throughout the day and kind of let you guys know what, uh, what an event like this is like. And maybe you would want to get involved also for um, helping out outdoor buddies. Sing on. Recording. So, uh, haven't had any time to film. I've been sitting at the, I've been at the skinning station all day for the last uh, eight hours. And I do about one an hour. And I'm getting actually really good. That skinning, quartering, getting the tenderloins and the back straps um, off these antelope. And uh, I also picked up a couple tips on cooking hearts. So when I get one, I'm going to keep the heart if I don't shoot through it. I mean, I'm going to aim for the head. But headshots today, uh, you just ain't going to do it. it. There's like 20, 20 mile an hour winds, uh, gusts easily to 30. Um, but I'll get out of the, the truck here and kind of show you the, the base camp and the skinning area. Off to the right here is the base camp for the antelope hunt. The antelope hunt is Outdoor Buddy's largest event and there are a lot of first time hunters that show up. Some of them have never even fired a gun before. This is the skinning area and I got my truck parked right in front of it trying to create a wind block. Over the course of this three-day hunt, I got the opportunity to skin, gut, and quarter close to 20 different antelope. Here's another shot of the base camp. If you do ever come to this event, I suggest a camper, because the winds really made it miserable for people braving the elements in a tent. So this is the third day of uh, the Outdoor Buddies hunt. Uh, it's Monday and we're just heading in now. You can tell we got a little bit of a snowstorm. Pretty much everybody left last night. There was probably 30 campers when we got there Saturday and now there was down to three or four when we left last night. So uh, when we get in here We'll see if there's anybody that needs to be taken out, if anybody is out. Um, if, if not, then we get to go hunt. Uh, I actually got mine yesterday. Uh, didn't get a chance to film that, but um, there's two other shooters that I'm with, and I'm gonna try to get uh, one of theirs on camera and show you what it's like out on the ranch. Um, the snow here. Alright, this guy is heading up and there is a really big buck and about five does that just crossed that five minutes ago. And uh, we were 350 yards just on the other ridge and we are hopefully he's gonna pop his head up see them at about 150 yards and get a shot. Oh, they got spooked. Let's see if you get a zoom in on them here. Just crossing the bridge. There should be another one somewhere. There he is. Oh, that was the last one. Yeah, there is Yeah, well, you did turn in the flag, correct? Yeah. 
I took this video clip and the next few pictures right after a successful kill shot done by a guy that is 100% blind. You're probably wondering, how the heck does a blind person shoot a rifle and how do they hit an antelope at 275 yards? I'll be doing a video in the future that goes over the setup on how a blind person can go hunting.